Hello students. In present video, I am going to explain about third problem from depreciation topic. I am taking this question from Pankaj Publications book. See the question first. A firm purchased on 1st January 2010 certain mill machinery for 40,000 rupees. On 1st July 2010, additional machinery costing 20,000 was acquired. On 1st October 2012, The machinery acquired on 1st January 2010 was sold for 25000 rupees and on the same day new machinery was purchased costing 38000 assuming that 10% depreciation is charged under diminishing balance method show the machinery account up to 31st December 2014 in this question he is not giving their accounting year no so when they are closing their accounts it is not given in clearly then we should only understand see last sentence is show machinery account up to 31st december 2014 based on this sentence we should understand that they are following calendar year so year starting dates 1st january year end date 31st december from which year we should start the solution see they purchase this first asset on 1st january 2010 So from 2010 year onwards we have to start the solution. This is a solution. Missionary account date particular same on date particular same on. First what happen? A firm purchased on 1st January 2010 certain mill machinery for 40000. On 1st July 2010 same year additional machinery costing 20000 was acquired. After that he is giving information about 2012 year. So 2010 year, two assets they purchased. When we buy the assets in asset account on debit side, we should show that information. So first asset forty thousand worth asset we purchased on first January. Now show that date. First January two thousand ten. For purchases, you have to write to bank account amount forty thousand. In two thousand ten year, second asset also they purchased. So debit side date. First July two thousand ten for that also two bank account second asset cost twenty thousand. Now first year two thousand ten year last date is thirty first December because calendar year they are following. On this date two assets we have so these two assets we used for two thousand ten year no means their value decreases so we have to provide depreciation depreciation on credit side we should show. By depreciation account, first asset cost is forty thousand. They used for full year, therefore months are not required. Depreciation is four thousand. Second asset cost is twenty thousand. They used it from first to July to thirty first December. July, August, September, October, November, December. Six months they used. Therefore, twenty thousand into rate of depreciation ten by hundred. This is given in the question. Into six by twelve is equal thousand. Total in outer column five thousand. Then on the same day find out balance carried down. Debit total sixty thousand minus credit amount five thousand is equal fifty five thousand. Two sets highest total sixty thousand. Now come to second year. This amount bring on debit side. Two balance brought down. Date is next date to this date. First January two thousand eleven. In 2011 year, there is no extra purchase, there is no sale. So at the end of 2011, 31 December 2011, by depreciation account. On this day, two assets we have, and this is diminishing balance method. So the feature of diminishing balance method is every year on opening value of the asset we should calculate depreciation. First year opening balance of assets are forty thousand, twenty thousand, and the costs are also same. Therefore, on this opening balances, we calculated depreciation. For second year, first asset cost is forty thousand. Don't calculate on that. Forty thousand minus first year depreciation four thousand. Forty thousand minus four thousand is equal thirty six thousand. This is the opening balance for two thousand eleven year. So in this fifty five thousand rupees, first asset opening balance is thirty six thousand rupees. On that, at the rate of ten percent, and full year they use now, so months are not required. Three thousand six hundred is a depreciation. Come to second asset. Second asset cost is twenty thousand. In two thousand ten year, second asset depreciation is one thousand. 
सो ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड माइनस वन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड माइनस थाउजेंड इज इक्वल नाइनटीन थाउजेंड इन दिस फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड सेकेंड एसेट ओपनिंग बैलेंस इज नाइनटीन थाउजेंड ऑन दैट टेन परसेंट डिप्रिसिएशन सेकेंड एसेट ऑल्सो दे यूज फॉर फुल इयर नाउ देर फॉर मंथ आर नॉट रिक्वेड हियर नाइनटीन हंड्रेड टू अमाउंट टोटल इन आउटर कॉलम फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सो यू मे गेट वन डाउट कॉन वी डायरेक्टली कैलकुलेट टेन परसेंट डिप्रिसिएशन ऑन फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड In this fifty-five thousand, first asset opening balance is there. Second asset opening balance is there. Both assets are used for full year now. So directly we can calculate ten percent. Why separately we are calculating? Because in next years these assets are sold. So when we sell the asset, we need to calculate the profit or loss in that sale. For that we need depreciation separately. So directly, if you calculate total depreciation on two assets, we can know. But for profit or loss calculation, again in working note, separately we need the depreciation on the sold asset. So extra calculations. That is why in account only I am calculating depreciation separately. Then on the same date, thirty first December eleven, debit total fifty five thousand minus credit amount five thousand five hundred is equal forty nine thousand five hundred. This is balance carried down. Two side highest total fifty five thousand fifty five thousand. Come to two thousand eleven year. This balance carried down amount bring on debit side. Date next date to this first January twelve. Two balance brought down. And in two thousand twelve year what happened? On first October two thousand twelve the missionary acquired on first January two thousand ten. Which missionary we acquired we purchased on first January two thousand ten. Forty thousand worth of missionary, first missionary. What happened to this? Was a sold for twenty five thousand. So first asset is sold, and on the same day, new mission was purchased, costing thirty eight thousand. So in two thousand twelve year, two things were happened. First asset is sold, and a, a new asset is purchased. New asset is purchased on first October two thousand twelve. Now write down that date. Debit side. When we buy the asset, we are writing bank. Here also write down the same. Two bank account. New asset we purchased for thirty eight thousand. Show that. Now come to sold asset details. This is the first asset forty thousand worth asset is sold on first October twelve. On that day, credit said by bank account. They sold it for twenty five thousand. Write down that. When we are purchasing the asset, debit said we are writing to bank. When we sell credit side, we should write by bank, and up to that date we have that asset. So up to that date, depreciation we have to calculate by depreciation account on this first asset, and this is diminishing balance method now. On opening balances only we should calculate depreciation. Opening balance we need. So see the previous year. Previous year opening balance is available in inner column thirty six thousand. Previous year depreciation is three thousand six hundred, so thirty six thousand minus three thousand six hundred is equal thirty two thousand four hundred. So in this balance brought down amount forty nine thousand five hundred. First asset opening balance is thirty two thousand four hundred. On that at the rate of ten percent for how many months? In two thousand twelve from first January to thirty September we have because they sold on first October. October month they didn't use. So up to thirty September nine months now. Therefore nine by twelve. So depreciation is two thousand four thirty. Now in this sale we may get a profit or loss. That in working notes you have to clearly show. I have written here. See calculation of profit or loss in sale. First asset cost is forty thousand minus depreciations. So first year two thousand ten depreciation is four thousand. Here, second year depreciation is three thousand six hundred. That amount two thousand eleven six thousand three thousand six hundred. Two thousand twelve year depreciation is calculated here two thousand four thirty. That amount three amounts total in outer column ten thousand thirty rupees. Cost minus total depreciation is equal twenty nine thousand nine seventy. This is book value. So twenty nine thousand nine seventy. What I said. Is sold for twenty five thousand. They sold for less, so there is a loss. Show that here. Book value twenty nine thousand nine seventy minus sale value twenty five thousand. 
लॉस इज इक्वल फोर थाउजेंड नाइन सेवेंटी दिस फोर थाउजेंड नाइन सेवेंटी लॉस अमाउंट यू हेव टू शो इन एसेट अकाउंट विच साइड इफ प्रॉफिट कम्स डेबिट साइड वी शुड शो लॉस क्रेडिट साइड नाउ लॉस के अब ना सो शो ऑन क्रेडिट साइड व्हेन लॉस कम्स व्हेन वी सेल ऑन दैट डे ओनली सो फॉर लॉस आल्सो राइट ऑन द सेम डेट फर्स्ट अक्टूबर 2012 फॉर लॉस यू हैव टू राइट बाय प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट मींस दिस लॉस अमाउंट वी आर ट्रांसफरिंग टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट लॉस अमाउंट इन अमाउंट कॉलम 4970 विद दिस सोल्ड एसेट डिटेल्स वी हैव शो कम टू रिमेनिंग एसेट्स डिटेल्स सी Twenty thousand second asset is not sold. That is with us, and the new asset thirty-eight thousand worth asset we purchased in two thousand twelve. That is also with us. So at the end of two thousand twelve, on thirty-first December two thousand twelve, two assets we have: second asset, third asset. So by depreciation account, second asset. This is diminishing balance method. No, on opening balances we have to calculate. See the previous year. In previous year, second asset opening balance is nineteen thousand minus previous year depreciation nineteen hundred. Nineteen thousand minus nineteen hundred. So for two thousand twelve year, opening balance of this second asset is seventeen thousand one hundred. On that, at the rate of ten percent, full year we use now. So months are not required. Depreciation is seventeen ten. Come to third asset. Third asset we purchased in 2012 only, cost 38,000. And how many months we used from 1st October to 31st December? October, November, December. Three months we used. Therefore, into three by 12 is equal 950. Two amounts total in outer column 2660. Then on the same day, show the balance carried down amount, debit total. These two amounts total eighty-seven thousand five hundred minus credit amounts twenty-five thousand, two thousand four thirty, four thousand nine seventy, and two thousand six sixty is equal fifty-two thousand four hundred. For this, write down by balance carried down. Then bring this amount to next year. Date is next date to this date, first January thirteen. Two balance brought down fifty-two thousand four forty debit set. In 2013, there is no sale, there is no purchase. Therefore, at the year end, by depreciation. Now, two assets we have: second asset, third asset. In 2014, also there is no extra purchase and sale. Two assets we have. So, 2013, 2014, two assets are used for full year. Therefore, separately we need not to calculate depreciation. If a sale is there in further years, then only we need separate calculations. Otherwise, directly on these two assets, we can show only one calculation. So, what I am doing? Diminishing balance method. Now, opening balance we should calculate depreciation. Opening balance is fifty-two thousand four forty. In this second asset opening balance is there. Third asset opening balance is also there. Separately, we need not to calculate. Directly on this, at the rate of ten percent for full year, depreciation is five thousand two forty-four. Then debit total fifty two thousand four forty minus credit amount five thousand two forty four is equal forty seven thousand one ninety six. Further write down by balance carried down two side highest total fifty two four forty. Come to next year up to two thousand fourteen is asking. So bring this balance on debit side two balance brought down date is next day to this date first January fourteen. Fourteen year last date thirty first December fourteen. There is no sale. There is no purchase. So two assets we have now by depreciation account. Two assets opening balance is forty seven thousand one ninety six. On this directly we can calculate depreciation into ten by hundred. Full year we used. So answer will be depreciation amount will be four four thousand seven nineteen point six. You can show in points in outer column, but calculations becomes lengthy process. My suggestion is take a round of value in outer column. How to take the round of values? After point, if a digit is five or above five, then add one number. After point, if the digit is below five, then ignore that after point value. So here after point six is there, above five. Therefore, forty-seven nineteen to this add one number. It becomes forty-seven twenty. 
that amount in outer column. Then debit total minus credit amount 42,476 is balance carried down. Last date of the year. Then balance is there now. Up to 2014 only asked. So stop the problem but bring this balance to next date. To balance brought down. Next date to this date. 1st January 2015. Amount 42,476. So this is the end of present problem. Take a screenshot of this solution. First page. Continuation. So hope this video has helped you to you. Thank you.